Hi, I'm Myron Ferguson. I'm here on one of my job sites with a general contractor, Matt Ginder. I just had a couple of questions for him because I know I wasn't low bidder on this job, but yet I did land it. Uh, Matt, maybe you could elaborate and tell me one or, one or two of the things that helped me to get this job. Well, there were several reasons, but the main one was the solution you offered to me with the off-angle problem I've been having in the past. A couple other homes had the same situation and I'm getting callbacks where the product is failing and I don't make any money when I have to go back and do something over. Well, what I'm going to be using here, Matt, is a product called Magic Corner from Trimtex. It's actually a vinyl type expansion bead that fits into these off angles. I'm going to show you how to properly install the Magic Corner. The Magic Corner bead is adjustable to any angle of an inside corner. Here a short piece of the bead is held on center along the inside corner while one edge is marked with a pencil. Both inside angle ends are marked and also the center. The center mark is a reference mark used as a guide to make sure the inside corner is relatively straight before snapping the chalk line. All the marks line up so the line is snapped. The magic corner will be attached along this straight line. It is a lot easier to pull the bead along the wall to get the approximate length than it would be to try to use a tape measure along the bead. Trimtex 847 spray adhesive is used to hold the magic corner to the drywall. For best results, apply two coats before the magic corner is attached. An alternative would be to apply one coat to the drywall and a second coat to the back of the bead. It helps to place a staple in the end right away. The rest of the bead can then be pressed into place. An installation tool comes with the magic corner. Press each leg of the magic corner into the adhesive. Because the building may experience some structural movement, stapling every six inches with half inch staples is a must. The edges are concealed with joint compound. At least two coats will be needed. The center edge is rubber and needs to be able to flex if any structural movement occurs. That is why the joint compound is removed by using the other end of the Trimtex installation tool. Now that's a straight inside corner. The rubber center edge of the magic corner is sanded clean and is ready for painting. Okay, on this job you can see that I've used a magic corner on all my off angles. I provided my customer with a really nice looking job. They're really going to be happy with this job now because all the angles are nice and straight. In addition to that, because I've used a magic corner, these angles are not going to crack or pop loose. So the customer is going to be happy for a long time. I'm Myron Ferguson, that drywall guy.